So this is a nice example of a bipartite patella and you can see it beautifully on ultrasound. So this is the kneecap um, here, this is the patella and you can see it's actually quite a lot of cortical regularity throughout. This is a, a professional gymnast, so I'm... Now, but what you can see here is the bipartite and you can see it's really, really obvious because we can see that cortex of the bone very nicely. Um, now, you can see over the top already that there is quite a lot of thickening of the patella tendon. You can actually see it quite a lot on this uh, medial side. So this is the bipartite, uh, but also on this knee, as we slide down, you'll see on this medial side, there's quite a large enthesophyte. It's important to differentiate between an enthesophyte and a calcification within the tendon. We'll go on to that. But you can see there's the bipartite. This is the patella tendon uh, in transverse. And you can see on this medial side, there's some significant tendinopathic change there. This part of the tendon looks really good. You can see the articular cartilage. So let's follow that down. We'll pop it in the middle. You can see it gets better and better as we go distally and then no problem towards that distal tendon. If we go back up, pop that into the middle, always got to confirm pathology in two views. And then you can see this tendinopathy here. There's that thickening. It's what's nice here is we can compare that to the normal tendon, which is over here. So we can measure it if we want to. Uh, and the lateral aspect of the patella tendon, which would be considered normal, is 4.3 mil. And if we come over to this side where you can see it's a lot thicker and it loses that fibula pattern, it's heterogeneous, is more like 8.6 mils. Um, but also I just want you to look carefully at this region here. So this is the normal part of the um, patella and this is the normal part of the patella tendon. As we come medial, can you see this large enthesophyte here? And there is a little bit of calcification within the tendon. But sometimes I see people calling this calcification, but if this is connected to the patella itself, which it is, then that's going to be more of an enthesophyte. So it's an important differential diagnosis there. And as we come more distally, you can see the heterogeneous, you can see there's some hyperocheric region in this, this area. Uh, and this is very much in keeping with a sort of what you would just consider as a chronic um, patella tendinopathy. Did you find that video useful? If you did, don't worry, we've got loads more videos for you. You can like our videos, you can make a comment, you can subscribe to our channel to get all of our new videos, and you can even join our membership. Good luck scanning.